over the land, wherever you are, can you put your hands together and give God a hand clap of praise for loaning him a, a, a servant for 75 years, amen, to God be the glory for the great thing that he has done, amen, we can do a little better than that, come on and let's give God, the Bible says in all things to give thanks unto the Lord, as a matter of fact, God has not done anything that he did not say in his word that he would do, he promised us that he would one day come back and receive us unto himself, so today we've come not to weep, not to mourn, but we've come to celebrate, amen, to celebrate a life well lived, a husband, a father, a brother, a uncle, a member, a friend, a confidant, so we thank God for the life of none other than digging um, Woodrow Jiggins. Amen, amen, amen. This time we're now going to be blessed with a song, Jesus Promised Me a Home, my sister Betty Jo. It has been a change, so we're going to change the song to Hear Welcome Me. And Bishop Gilbert Roberts is going to lead that. All right, hold it.
and we celebrate today because on Saturday, amen, bro, Richard got his welcome letter home, amen. He heard the Lord say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up and I'll make your ruler over many, amen, amen. He will welcome me home, amen, amen. At this time, we'll now have our scripture reading, our Old Testament reading will be back by Pastor Perkins, followed by our New Testament by Bishop Robinson and our prayer by Reverend Dr. Thompson in that order. Amen. Amen. We greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, what a blessing to witness the home going of our precious deacon. I promise I won't be before you long, but before I read the scripture, there's something that I must say. I uh, rode down I-95. You know, a little sad that I wouldn't see Deacon anymore, but on the other hand, I came to celebrate. I came to celebrate the life of Deacon Woodrow Jenkins, a faithful, peaceful man, a man of honor. I salute Deacon. For he was a deacon, yes. indeed. Yes. yes, he was. One who loved God, loved his family, yes. loved his church, yes. loved his calling, yes. loved his pastor, yes. and loved his yes. church family. Yes. On October 24th, the Holy Spirit spoke while in service before I ever knew that deacon was going through. The Holy Spirit spoke and he told me, and I quote, if I say live, he will be all right. If I say die, he will be all right. And today, it is well with his soul. And I can hear deacon saying right about now, in his strong voice. Amen! Amen! Amen. 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 Pass. Amen. Amen! So I read from the book of Job, all right, all right. chapter 19, right. beginning at verse 23. Yeah. Oh, that my words yeah. were now written. Yeah. Oh, that they would be printed yeah. in a book that they were graving with the iron pen on a rock forever. And it would say, for I know, I know. that my Redeemer's living. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is well yeah. with my soul. Yeah. Okay. It is the Lord yeah. that giveth. Yeah. And it is the Lord yeah. that taketh away. Yeah. So what we gonna do? We gonna bless yeah. the name Oh, the Lord. I say to Mary, his sons, his daughters, his granddaughters, his family, and friends, Deacon is all right. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus. As the word said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. When I think of Deacon Woodrow Jiggett's I think of a peaceful man, a man that respected me. He didn't have to because he was older than I was. And we were taught to respect our elders. But he respected me and he loved me. He always would smile and show kindness to me and speak encouraging words on the day of, every time he saw me. He never had anything negative to say. He would always smile and say, we're going to praise God. So I'm thankful for those times growing up being able to spend time with him. I want to read, I'm here to read the New Testament scripture and I'm going to try, I can't sound like him when he read, but I'm going to do the best that I can. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. All of y'all that's trying to get rich down here, go ahead on and help yourself. But the word said, I saw a new heaven 
and a new earth. Yeah. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, yeah. and there was no more sea. No more. And I, John, yeah. saw the holy city, yeah. New Jerusalem, yeah. coming down from God out of heaven, yeah. prepared as a bride to want, to adorn to, for her husband. Yeah. And I heard a voice yeah. out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. I can't wait to that day. Deacon Woodrow is resting right now for that day. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha, and I am Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely, and he that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But I say everybody may not see Diggin Woodrow, because the fearful and the unbelieving All right. and the abominable All right. and the murderers yes. and the whoremongers yes. and the sorcerers yes. and idolaters yes. and all liars shall have their part yes. in the lake of fire yes. burn head glory yes. with brimstone yes. which sat upon the second death yes. I say unto the family today yes. Yes. I don't know what this thing is doing uh -huh. but I say to the family today be strong in the Lord yeah. be strong. sister Mary hold on yes. God will give you strength to the children, to the grandchildren, yeah. to the great-grandchildren, to the family, to the friends. God is still in control. Amen. Yeah. All we have to do is submit ourselves to him. Yeah. And he will give us the strength he need, we need. He promised yeah. never, never to leave us yeah. or forsake us. Yeah. So don't ever think that God is gone Come on, preacher. or he's going to take a break. Yeah. Because God Right it's going to right, be right there. right there. God bless you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, church. Praise oh, the Lord. come on. We can do about it. Praise the Lord, church. Praise Amen. The Lord. Amen. First, I do give honor to God today who truly he is head of my life. I give honor to the bishop. I give honor to the pastor. Amen. I give honor to this family. I, I want to thank you, amen, for allowing me to be a part of this home-going Celebration. I bring you greeting from the Oak Grove Baptist Church, 8021 Reedy Branch Road, Chesterfield, Virginia, where I'm the senior pastor. Amen. Woodrow, I can say a lot about Woodrow, but y'all call me to pray. We were raised up together. I got to say a few things. Raised up together. I'm a couple years behind him, and we walk these roads of many nights and call ourselves having a good time going to Weaver. Y'all know Weaver's in? Amen. Going up back to the we was in, having a great time. But praise be to God, when we grew up, our lives got changed. God called us to be servants of him. So I thank God even for the life of brother Deacon Woodrow Jiggins. Amen. Amen. But I say to this family, just, just hold on. Change is coming. But let us pray. But before I pray, I'd like to quote the 23rd Psalm. The Bible declared that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. But yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil. For thou art with me the rod and the staff, and they comfort me. They have a the table before me in the presence of my enemy, and anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. But 
surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Family and friends, don't worry about Deacon Woodrow. Because I believe, amen, he is dwelling in God's holy temple. He is in Abraham's bosom. Let, let us pray. Most holy and all eternal wise God. Lord God, we come in no other name, God, but in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, before I ask you, God, for anything, God, I thank you, Lord God, for everything. Thank you, Lord God, for the air we're breathing right now. Thank you, Lord God, for last night lying down. Thank you, Lord God, that you woke us up this morning. Close, oh God, in our right mind. And God, just for that, God, we praise your name, God. We thank you, Lord God, for the life and the legacy of digging Woodrow Jiggers, oh God. We ask now, God, that you will bless his family, God. Keep your loving arms of protection, God, around his wife, God, around his children, God, his children, children, God. Bless them, oh God, as they go through, God, their trying time. You say, Lord God, when you go through the valley, God, you promise in your word, Lord God, you will be with them, God. Lord, they're going through a valley experience right now, but Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus, God, upon them right now, God. Bless them, oh God, and keep them, God, in your loving care. And God, I know you're with them, God, because you said your word, Lord God. You will never leave us, God, nor will you forsake us, God. Lord, the family needs you right now, God. Prop them up, oh God, on every leaning side. Build them up, oh God, whether you're torn down. Make them strong, God, and bold in your holy and righteous word. And Lord, I know you can do it, God, because your word declare, Lord God, in Ephesians 3 and 20, God, you are able, God, to do exceedingly abundantly above more, God, than we can actually even imagine, God. They got heavy hearts right now, God. Lift them up, oh God. Prop them up, oh God. Keep them, oh God, in your loving care. God, forgive us now, Lord God, for any sins or any shortcomings, God, we may have committed. And Lord, I promise you on this day, God, we will ever give your name all glory, all honor, and all praise, for in Jesus' precious name, we do pray. Every heart that agree, come on and shout amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, family. Keep looking to the hills from which cometh your help. All of your help cometh from God. Hallelujah. Bless you. Come on, might we give God a hand clap of praise out this? Uh, we can do a little bit better than that. We serve a great God. We serve a great God, and we're thankful for him loaning us. Yes. Loaning us the one, the only, Woodrow Woody Wood Jiggets. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise one more time for his presence here today. Uh, on behalf of this most precious family, they would have me thank you all for being here today, for your kind words, your cards, and all your acts of sympathy during this most difficult time. Trust me, at a time where they're more composed, they will get back to you in their own special way. There are a few cards that we'll read here today for your hearing. First from Duck Adams, Dinwiddie County Sheriff's Office. The officers and members of the Dinwiddie County Sheriff's Office Join in extending heartfelt sympathy to you and your family in this time of sorrow. And one more, there is a tender touch of the Lord given to us in our time of loss. It's a touch that wipes away tears and comforts our sorrows. It's a healing touch by his spirit that gently draws us under the shelter of his wings. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. Psalms 91 and 4. To the Jiggets family, we are now and in the days ahead, keeping you close at heart while you and your family are being remembered in prayer. We serve a God who is ever present to be our strength. Love, Gilbert and Lisa. And finally, with sympathy in the loss of your father. Knowing that you're thought of often and cared about deeply, may this somehow comfort you as you recall time shared with your father. I believe this comes from Carlisa. Again, we thank you for, for this family, for entrusting our family on behalf of the Joseph M. Johnson and Son Funeral Home with this most precious gift. And if I can leave you with any words of encouragement, the psalmist writes these words, time is filled with swift transition, not on earth, unmoved can stand, but you should build your hopes on things eternal and hold to God's unchanging hand. It might be, not be easy in the days to come, but trust in the God 
who will never leave you, neither will he forsake you, to take you through even these times of your grief. God bless you in the days to come. Amen. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. I believe it was salt and pepper that said, what a man, what a man. What a mighty, good man. And somebody can testify out here, Ridgel was a man, a mighty, good man. No one else could do it like Deacon Jiggins do it. Amen. When I met him at KFC, he made the KFC uniform look mighty good. Amen. He was a dresser. He was calm, cool, and collective. Didn't say much, but he meant what he said and said, all right. So now we're getting to a point of our celebration that we have reflections, and there are two names on, on the program, and I'm from the old school. I, I, when funerals come, we have all these reflections, and I have nothing wrong with it, but when I'm living, tell me how much you love me, how much you care, because when I'm dead and gone, I can't hear any of this stuff. So today, nothing we can say or do will change God's mind, because God's mind and his will has already been performed. So this time we'll have reflections by Deacon Richardson, and followed by Deacon Richardson, we would have um, Brother Jigich to come with expressions. Praise the Lord, saints. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We come for the celebrating the life of Brother Dylan Woodrow Jiggett. We call him Roe in the day. <laughs> but uh, we grew up here right in this community. I stayed down here just as much as I stayed at home, I guess. I was helped work on this lane all around here on the farm with Mr. Jiggis and the boys, as he called him, son, 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 call me son too. <laughs> but uh, Woodrow was a Woodrow. <laughs> and the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Amen. And Woodrow heard the Lord and he answered. But uh, Woodrow and I went to school together, elementary, high school. We went and the service together, well, I went a little bit behind him, but we all got in the same squad and we all went places together. And me and him and his brother Howard. And I figured out this morning, it was 55 years ago, when Brother Linwood carried us to our departure station to meet up with Woodrow. <laughs> because he had gone ahead of us. But uh, life was good. And uh, we ran, these roads, we ran hard. <laughs> but when we went to work, we worked, we worked hard. And then we, like I said, when we all finished doing our thing, we turned to the Lord. And the, and the Lord been looking after us. He looked after us before we found him, and he's still looking after us. Cause, uh, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, I'm say, no telling where I'd be. But uh, Woodrow was a, a man of his word, kind-hearted. There was nothing in the world that he wouldn't do for you. I, uh, I just, I just, I just uh, get a shot of the word. So when Stephanie called me, told me that uh, wanted me to say a few words. So I told her. I said, yeah, okay, okay. So after she had hung up, I asked my wife, I said, how about name pop out their head? <laughs> she looked at me and said, what other name would be in the head? <laughs> and I thought about it, and I said, I guess you're right. <laughs> so we, we, were, we were all friends and buddies, and, and uh, we did a lot of things together, a lot of good things and bad things. But, that's life. We grew. We grew. When we was a child, we did childish things. That's right. But when we grew men, when we became men, we put away childish things. So, so, so God is good. And I hope some of these young people can hear as to what I'm saying. Because life is not like it was when we were out there. 
we were doing these things and getting away sometimes, sometimes it wasn't. But Nanny out there, they just, just pop a cap in you and that's it. And said, so we got we to stop and think. Turn to the Lord. That's the only help you can get. The, 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 the president can't help you. <laughs> so turn to the Lord. And that's the only, only way I can see out. I talked to my grandchildren. I talked to my son. And I, I prayed that they would come together. But Woodrow is smiling down on us now. It's a uh, celebration for life for Woodrow. And he's a... Uh, He's a happy man now. He's in a better place. No more crying, no more dying. And he's resting in the arms of the Lord. So let us continue to hold ourselves together and keep on praying in Jesus. Because we know that we have been men do it for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Now, some nights may be longer than others. But joy is coming in the morning. Amen. 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 Good afternoon, family. Truly, we praise God for the life of Digging Woodrow Jiggis. Amen? Amen. I second what the Digging just said. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, <laughs> that's an if I don't care to find out about. Amen? Amen. A man of wisdom, great strength, and love, a father, a husband, a brother, a friend, and a willing heir to God's kingdom. Our life is made better by those who we encounter that leave an inspirational mark of their existence. But we are painfully reminded of the fragility of life when a soul goes home, but we are also made more conscious during that time of grief, the beauty and the strength that another's life possesses. A true mark of a person's importance isn't measured in tangible assets or the volume of associations or how many people knew them. That's right, that's right. A life that positively impacts other lives, whatever the number, embodies the essence of what this life is truly about. Woodrow Jiggis influences will never be recorded in the history books or talked about on social platforms but they resonate greatly with those who came in contact with him. His easygoing, peaceful demeanor and magnetic, infectious smile won over many people long before they got close enough to benefit from his wisdom and caring nature. His foundation was laid from a young age where he learned from his parents the values of hard work, patience, love, and gained the understanding of the importance of family. He subsequently instilled that foundation in his kids, thus ensuring that they will be prepared for the failures and the successes of life. The smooth baritone voice and the magnificent smile along with the style and class all of his own are things that we will never forget about this great man. But we also celebrate and appreciate the knowledge, the example of a good father, a loving husband, and the stance he willingly took following after the will of God. We will honor his memory by continuing to walk in faith and truth, showing love to those we encounter while never wasting a chance to share a smile or lift someone's spirit with a few words of genuine, caring conversation. And sometimes, maybe just because he crossed our mind, we will tilt our head a little to one side <laughs> and add just a little extra coolness <laughs> to our walk and smile that cool Woody Wood smile <laughs> as we step smoothly on throughout our day. Welcome and thank you everyone for coming out for coming out um, today. Um, this is just to encourage my siblings. We have had the most amazing father album. <laughs> Deborah was everything to us. Um, 
Our daddy used to joke with us. He used to dance with us. He used to play with us in the front yard. Kickball, oh, yeah. horseshoe. Oh, yeah. He even played with his nephew, the basketball court. My father, y'all uncle, he meant a lot to us. And he, he made everybody, everybody stay on the same level. He, you know, he just, his energy made sure that, you know, we was odd. He was like, y'all don't do that, don't do that. He was not a very confrontational man. He was very peaceful. And the Bible tells us one of the Ten Commandments, honor thy father and thy mother that they should live on the land for long, right? Amen. Our mother died when we were 16, when I was 16. You know, God took her home and she got her wings. But then he left us with our daddy. 75. My daddy's birthday was June. 75 years. 75 years. I don't even have friends that made it to 75. So my daddy had a blessed life. And with us siblings, he made each one of us feel so special. Al, hey. you the favorite. Keith, you the favorite. Juanita, you the favorite. Angie, no need, no word. <laughs> you the favorite. Stephanie, you know good well you was the favorite. Beam up. Not only was you the favorite, but you was his best friend. Then it was me. Rough ride, <laughs> sidekick, had his back, side, and front. Truly, I'm really the favorite. <laughs> you know, they, they couldn't do what I could do. You know, he knew that. But I want to tell you guys, even though this process has been rough for us, it brought us even closer. And I thank him. But even in his death, he still showed us love to make sure we was reminded. Pop it up was our song. We gotta pump it up. Even when <laughs> they go low, we pumping it up. <laughs> Cause we going high. Amen, amen. For truly, 2020 has been a journey. With all that's going on in our nation. If this season has not taught you anything, then you need to check yourself. Because this season surely has taught me to slow down and enjoy life because life is short. And to this precious family, God knows just how much you can bear. You are built for this. And people may be wondering, how can you celebrate while you're not crying, while you're not falling out? Why? Because when your soul is anchored, in the Lord, you know that everything is going to be all right. I'm going to get in the way and get out of your way, and then we'll have the word of God by the man of God, his brother-in-law. Though the storms keep on raging in my life and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day still there is hope that lies within that's reassured as I keep my eyes 
upon the distant shore I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared but if the storms don't see in my life can I get just one witness out there and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day still there is hope that lies within that's reassured uh, as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared but if the storms don't cease in Mary and just in case the
would like to give honor to the family and to uh, all the pastors and the, I mean, everyone that is in the audience here today. We're grateful just to be here to celebrate. I didn't say we come for a funeral, but we come today to celebrate a life, a legacy of a true Christian. I believe if Paul, if Diggum Woodrow were here today, he would say you like Paul. I believe he would say, I have fought a good fight. He said, I have finished my course now, and now there is a crown is waiting for me. He said, I believe he would say not only for me, but for all of those, for everybody that do the will of God. And when I, I'm honored for this opportunity. A few days ago when I stopped by to see him, and he's, he said, I'm all right. And I looked at him and I prayed for him. He said, I'm all right. And he told his wife, I believe she told her, said, baby cake, you're gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. You're a strong woman. Yeah. I believe he would tell all the children, you're gonna be all right. Yeah. See, this is a part of God's plan. Yes, it is. All right, all right. Man. Yes, it is. How many of you want to go to heaven? Yes. Is that all I want to go? Yes. <laughs> don't nobody else want to go to heaven? That's right. I'm saying they don't want to go. Y'all hey. know what? Hey, hey. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. That's right. In other words, you got to prepare. For this day. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. And most of us don't want to go through this stage. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, sir. But how many of you know that the Bible said flesh and blood? Come on now. Shall not enter into the kingdom. That's right. That's right. See, we either got to be changed. Come on. Or we're gonna have to go right here. That's right. A lot of people fear this day. But I want to tell you today, it's all right. It's all right. And family, for those of you, I, I can't tell you don't cry. I used to think when you get grown, if you cry, it was something wrong with you. But I found out that Bible said this poor man cried. It's something about crying that helped you reach God. And I want to tell you I love to reach the man. I want to encourage you today that it's all right. It's all right to make the change. Whether we go here or if we're caught up to meet him in there. That's all right. Paul said in, in 1 Corinthians 15, 51, he said, Behold, I show you a mystery. Yes, Paul said, We shall not all sleep. Come on now. But in the twinkling of an eye, uh -huh. at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, yes. Yes. and we shall be changed. Change. And now that we know we got to change, it's got to be a process. Yes, yes. Today, I want to encourage you on how to get prepared for this day. Yes. Surely, we have to go. That's right. Listen, people will tell you a whole lot of things to do to get you prepared for this day. Yes. But I want to find out, is it biblical? Come on, Come on. Come on. If you want to go to heaven, surely sure. we need to go by the word of God. That's right. The, word, the, word. I am the, word. the Bible said heaven and earth shall pass away. Come on, my word. Come but on. my word is going to stand. So we're going to have to go by the word of God. That's right. 
to get to spend eternity with God. Yeah. Some people tell you, say, well, if you want to be saved, shake the preacher's hand. Mm, not so. Have anybody seen that in the scripture? No. no. <laughs> now listen. I believe Peter and uh, Paul had had a little confrontation. And they, at the end of their discussion, Barnabas and some of the others, they shook hands. They extended them the right hand of fellowship mm -hmm. to let them know it's all right. We agree, we're brethren. Yeah. But that wasn't for salvation. Right. That was just to let everybody know that we are at peace. That's right with one another. Yeah. Then you have some people that tell you, say, well, if you just say the sinner's prayer, Come on. you can be saved. Mm. If you call upon the name of the Lord, mm. the Bible did tell you call upon the name of the Lord, yeah. and you shall be saved. Yeah. But how many of you know you got to go a little further than just calling on his name. Oh yeah, praise him, praise him. Listen, this thing, uh, I heard somebody say we must be thoroughly advised and fully informed. Come on now. We can't leave this out. How many of you know what God's name is? Jesus. Well, I believe it's St. John 3 and 1. There was a man of the Pharisees, uh -huh. and his name was Nicodemus. The Bible said that came the same man came to Jesus by night, and he said unto him, Rabbi, said we know that thou art a teacher that come from God, because nobody can do the things that you do except God be with him. That's right. Y'all know who he was talking to? He was talking to Jesus. Jesus answered and said unto him, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. But wait a minute now. Go ahead. How many of you know you can go some places? that you don't see how to get there. Has anybody ever heard talk of a blind person? Huh? Come on, y'all don't want to talk to me today. I just want to make sure everybody understand. Listen, you can go someplace if you close your eyes. A person can lead you just about anywhere around here. So you can get there and don't see how you got there. Is that right? So Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born again when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? How many of y'all know that's going to be painful? Huh? All right, well, let me tell you what Jesus said. Jesus answered, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man. Now, we're talking about Jesus now. He said, except a man be born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter That's right. into the kingdom of God. That's what he said. Well, we just wiped out shaking the preacher's hand, didn't he? That's right. That's right. Come on, somebody. Yeah, that's over, baby. <laughs> so, so that's not going to do no good to shake a preacher's hand. Well, now Jesus was talking to the disciples in the 28th chapter of Matthew. Yeah. He told him, he said, go ye therefore and teach all nations yeah, yeah. and baptizing them in the what? Name. Wait, wait, y'all just told me the name was Jesus. Come on now. Name. He said, go ye and baptize all nations 
in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why? That's for your remission of sin. That's right. Now everybody needs to know we are born in sin yeah, and we are shaped in iniquity. Yeah. So we got to find out exactly what we got to do to be saved. Now, I tell you what, I'm self-employed and uh, we don't have a thousand people out here today so I can do this. I'm willing today All right. to pay everybody's debt out here. I'm willing to pay it out. All right. I write any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, I write you a check today. If you're a man, I put on a man. If you're a woman, I put on a woman. All right. Daughter, I put daughter. Son, I put son on it. And I write everybody a check for a million dollars a day. Come on now. And if your bills are more than that, I write it for more. Come on. Now, how many of you? How many of you out here? Let's make a deal. How many of you out here <laughs> have more than a million dollars of debt? No, no, no. Huh? No. Don't nobody have over a million dollars in debt? No, well, y'all ready for your check? No, I can't put nothing on it. You pastor, I put pastor on yours. All right. I put pastor on it. But I can't put no more. I, I can't put nobody's first name, nobody's second name, last name. Only if you're a man, woman, boy or girl, whatever you whatever your title is, I write it for that. Now how many of you can get out of debt? Can't nobody use that? Well, then we got to know what his name is. That's right. We're upon a, coming upon a time near Christmas season. Mm -hmm. That's right. And everybody you hear will talk about Matthew 121. She shall bring forth the son. Bring forth the son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Yeah. For he yeah. right. shall save his people from their sins. Yeah. Anybody want to be saved from your sins today? All right. All right. Well, listen, if he's going to save his people from their sins yeah. because they're baptized in his name, yeah. then that's what we got to go by. That's what we got to do. Now, listen, Jesus did tell his disciples to go ye therefore and teach all nations. Yeah. He did tell them, baptize in the name of the Father, that's right. of the Son, that's right. and of the Holy Ghost. Yes, he did. But you got to have the name. Yeah. Well, what is that name? Jesus. His name is Jesus. Alright. Listen, a long, long time ago, I came up and I, I used to didn't want uh, salvation. Y'all know when you're a little child, y'all know you just want to play. Come on now. Anybody ever been a child? You just, a child, somebody said earlier when you was a child, yeah. you did the childish thing. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Very true. But somewhere in life, you got to get to the place that you don't want to be a child no more. It's time to grow up. Well, let's find out what the Bible said. Peter was preaching. The second chapter of Acts. Peter said, therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made that same Jesus uh -huh. whom you have crucified both of them. he's both yeah. he's Lord and Christ two is two of them. That's right. now when they heard this yeah. they were pricked in their hearts and they said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles they said men and brethren yeah. what must we do yeah. this is the question that's the question they didn't tell you shake the preacher's hand. They didn't tell you to repeat after me. Say the sinner's prayer. I was stopped one day to fuel up. And when I pulled up to the gas pump, there was a little sticker setting up on the pump. So I read it. 
And they said, repeat after, they said, repeat this prayer. Mm -hmm. And I read it. I was, I read it all the way through. Mm -hmm. And it said, now if you read this, now you are saved. I said, Lord have mercy. But Jesus said, the word of God said, take heed. That no man deceive you. That's what he said. Listen, you got to know this thing by the word of God now. Yes, you yes, you this is your road map to heaven. That's right. There's nothing I can say now that can help or hurt Digging Woodrow. That's right. Uh, we always called each other Big Bro. Yes. But there is nothing I can do now that can help Big Bro or to hurt him. That's right. So now that you are the audience, I, it's my duty. It's my obligation yeah. to make this thing plain for you today. That's right. Listen, Peter said repent uh -huh. and be baptized. That's right. Every one of you Everyone. in the name of Jesus Christ okay. for the remission of your sin. That's right. He said, and then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's right. He said, for the promise is unto promise. you and to your children yes. and to all that are far off, yes. even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yes. Listen, and with many other words yes. did he testify and exhort, saying, save, save. yourself. That's the word. Save. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Yeah. Now listen, that's why this is so important to me. Show me anywhere where they shook somebody's hand and they were saved. Show me anywhere where they, they somebody just stood up and said a prayer and they were saved. Well listen, the 41st verse it's going to show you where people were baptized in Jesus' name. Yes. Then they that gladly received the word were baptized. baptized. And the same day, same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. 3, 000. Now the Bible show you where hey. the people were baptized in Jesus' That's name. Right. That's right. Show me where anybody shook a preacher's hand or repeated a sinner's prayer and their sins were forgiven. Show it to me. Well, the Bible says, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. Paul said in Galatians, the first chapter. Paul said some, uh, wait a minute, let, let's read it. Let's read it. I don't want you to think I'm making this stuff. I'm quoting them, but if I read it, that, that might make it a little bit easier for you, right? Praise it. Paul said in Galatians 1 verse 6 Paul said I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that call you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel that's what he said Paul said which is not another there's not another way Paul, that same Paul said in Ephesians 4 and 5 he said there's one Lord there's one faith and there's one baptism now, where do you get all these other doctrines from then? Look them up. Every denomination that you get up, it's going to tell you which man started it. That's right. And when he died. That's right. That's right. Well, then that mean his salvation is gone with him then. That's right. Now, tell me how he's going to help you if he's dead. <laughs> Can he help you? Paul said, which is not another, no, but no. there be some that trouble you That's right. and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Yeah. If you're going to be tricked, don't let it be with your soul. You need to know for surely That's right. where you're going to spend eternity. Because That's right. That's right. as surely as you're born, we're going to have to go down this road. That's right. And once you have crossed this line, there is no more hope. That's right. There's no more chance to come back and get it right. 
family and friends, be encouraged. Be encouraged. There's one way to see his face in peace. And that is go by the absolute, pure, uncut word of God. God bless you. God, come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen, amen, amen. You know, how many of you know that there's nothing wrong with dying as long as you got somewhere to go? Amen. Folk always say, I'm sorry for your loss. You didn't lose anything if you know where it is. And today we know where digging, jig it is. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're now going to prepare ourselves for the committal. Amen. For as much as it's pleased the Almighty God, come on. For as much as pleased the Almighty God and His wise providence take out the word to Himself, our soul of our dear departed brother, we therefore commit His body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. For I heard a voice from heaven saying, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, for they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our God and our Father, we thank you once again for this day that you have made. We thank you, God, for lending us such a man as you did, God. And God, now as we give him back unto you, God, that which you have given unto us, we pray now for strength, peace, and for wisdom. And God, we ask that you would be with this family. Comfort the wife, God, as she moves on from this day, God. Comfort the children, God. Let them understand, God, that you will be a father to the fatherless. And God, bless the friends, God, to help them to understand that you are a friend that's thicker closer than any brother. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. God be the glory. When life gives us sadness, God gives us a peace, a peace that passes all understanding. And all three times, doves has been a symbol of that peace. So today we're going to release some white doves. The first one is symbolic of your love going home. And that one will be followed by three more, representing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, fulfilling God's promise to never leave us or forsake us. And then we will release a whole flock of doves, representing each one of you going with your loved one in your heart. And the psalmist said, Oh, if I had wings like a dove, I could fly away and be at rest. life that he's bestowed upon us, the late Woodrow Jiggis. Truly, Brother Jiggis loved each one of us, and we loved him. We realized that God loved him best, and right now he's at rest in peace with the Lord. On behalf of his wife and his children and the entire family, they will have me once again to thank each one of you for your love, for your prayers, for your support. Anything you might have done along the way to give them strength and support, they thank you right now. We will now have our final tribute for Brother Jiggins.
Ladies and gentlemen, this does conclude the service of Brother Woodrow Jiggins. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock, tomorrow at 12 o'clock, because the military honors was delayed in Norfolk, we will come back out and we will blow the flag tomorrow at 12 o'clock right here. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock p.m. we will blow the flag. Our continued prayers is that God will grant you the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and always the wisdom to know the difference. May God bless you in the days to come. Due to the COVID-19 virus, due to the COVID-19 virus, we ask that you not greet each other here at the cemetery, but call each other, give each other a virtual hug, do whatever you have to do, and we'll see you at another time when God says so. God bless you, and have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow here at 12 o'clock p.m.